Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Il Maquillage brand. My friend John just texted me, I was like, girl, do you know what Il Maquillage is? And I'm like, I've heard of that once or twice, but like, she's not well versed in what that is. She's like, well, do you want a hundred dollar voucher? Of course I want fucking free makeup. You're I'm kidding. kidding. Here my ass goes, researching this fucking brand. For starters, love the shade range. That looks straight up yellow. Yellow. Medium yellow. Light pink. How is that light pink? The fuck? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Medium olive. Am I an olive undertone? Neutral red. Neutral yellow. That's medium olive is what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's cute. $51, you're king. Oh, she's serving everything. You see, I don't wanna judge the brand too harshly, but girl. 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 I gotta be smart about this because I want to get as many things as possible. Okay, but everything's so freaking expensive. Brow mascara. I guess I could do brow mascara. Espresso. What am I at? $73. Okay. I guess I could do a lip. Oh, bitch. Uh. <laughs> that looks dry as fuck. Ooh, girl. That's a deep red. I think I could do that. Oh, bitch. Right now, check out $100. Let's see if this coupon will work. Of that number, that's a beautiful number. Mm, girl. <laughs> Here we go. I will see you guys in a couple of days. Guys, it's a next couple of days. It's been like two days, I think. I've since uploaded two videos. I uploaded a skincare routine and a doing my makeup in a car. So go check those out. I'll link those down below. But I think my Il Maquillage package is here. I was gonna say like, I bought an initial review. They get like a point off for way too much waste when it comes to their packaging, but. It looks like there's a lot in here. I feel like that's really big for what I ordered. Girl, look at this bitch. Look at this moment. This is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation made in Italy. 30 millimeters, one fluid ounce. Comes in a little bottle like this. Got her, I got her own little holder. Foundation doesn't look too, too bad. We'll have to see. This is just my first impressions upon just like looking at everything. Packaging looks really nice. Oh, bitch, it's heavy. It has like a um, cake batter-esque scent. It's very whipped. That's the color. Um, now this is the brow thing I got. The wand on it's really tiny. Can't wait to give this a try. Uh, next time I see you guys, I'm gonna be in my studio and I'm gonna be reviewing these products. All right, so we're back in my studio and now it's time to try on all of these products. Here's how the products look like. This is all black and white packaging. Very sleek. Packaging, honestly, 10 out of 10. Really stylish, really sleek. And when you open it, the foundation sits right there like that. I got it in the shade 110. Back of the box, it says, Woke up like this, flawless foundation. It's a beauty blender. It's not giving me the medium to full coverage that I was talking about. I can still see my redness peeking through. Yeah, with the beauty blender, that almost seared down to nothing. So I'm taking the Y6 by Morphe. I'm getting a lot more coverage when I use a Kabuki brush than with the beauty blender. Overall, the color match isn't too bad. Okay, so far so good. I'm definitely gonna go in with the second layer. So far so good. It's not emphasizing any of my texture. The color is pretty nice. I feel pretty evenly coveraged. Coveraged. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face a little bit something on my eyes. I'm gonna fill in my brows and then I'm gonna be back to finish off the rest of my face. Okay, so that is just a little bit of a light beat. A light beat. Please ignore this eye right here. She's watering as always. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the last two products. This is the Hypnotize Fill and Fix Brow Shaper in the shade Espresso. This is the darkest shade. Now I filled my brows in. Because I use a lot of powder, powder gets in my brow hairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to knock off the powder that's on my brows and tint them. Now I only have hair in the beginning parts of my brows up to here. I shaved my tail off because I like to feminize my shape a little bit. I'm gonna go in with that color right over here. The applicator on this is super, super tiny. It really coats the hairs up in the front. and makes them look super, super bushy. You can see from one side to the other how much bushier this side is. You can get a little bit carried away because 
it disperses a lot of product. So be careful with that. That's the brow mascara. The only thing I will say about this brow product is that it is a little bit wet. So what you want to do is take a paper towel and kind of scrape off the initial layer. And last but not least, I'm now gonna go in with their Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream. And I got the shade Matte Danger. This product right here is super, super heavy. It's kind of like a red terracotta-y color. The applicator is a doe foot applicator and it's kind of beveled. All right, so my lights had gone off and I need to make sure to charge them. They may go off still because I just charged them for a little bit. But basically, let's go over the products that I did use and then let's break it down. So starting off with the foundation. This is not a bad foundation. If you're the type of person who likes a sheer to medium coverage, this isn't full coverage. It says it's full coverage on the website and on the box, but I wouldn't consider it a full coverage by my standards. It did give me enough coverage the second time around. So this is the type of product where um, you want to go in first with a kabuki brush and then with a beauty blender because if you go in straight with a beauty blender, the beauty blender is going to suck up a lot of product. Um, the color is actually pretty, pretty good. I was a little bit scared when I went on their website, not going to lie, because it was a little bit jumbled. It didn't start from light to dark. It was like dark and light, and I think it went by like undertones, which is nice if you're somebody who knows what your undertone is. So I'd give this foundation probably like a eight, 8 out of 10. It's not my favorite, but it's also not a bad foundation. Yep, that light just went off. <laughs> okay, so as far as the brow mascara goes, um, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It is pretty pigmented, if you can see right over here. Like it does the job. I like the packaging, it's heavy, it's sturdy. This is a pretty good product for someone who already has brows. If you don't have brows, um, this is probably a, gonna be a good product too because it does a really, really good job of making sure it colors in those hairs. So if you're somebody who's blonde, um, you might like this product too because blonde hair tends to not show up very well. Going in with the brow mascara is nice because it just tints the brow hairs for you and it makes your brows look a little bit fuller. Now, one thing that I was really, really impressed by was their liquid lipsticks or their matte lip creams. They're very reminiscent of the Ofra liquid lipsticks where they're super comfortable, they're not transfer proof, but they're matte. And this went on with one swipe coverage. All in all, like, the three products that I bought from Il Maquillage was really good. I really liked them. I would probably use them again. Now, I didn't pay for these products and honestly, for being 100% truthful upon looking at their website and looking at some of the products on there i was a little bit skeptical but this is really really high quality product i like the way my makeup turned out i like the lips i like my brows i like my overall base and yeah i'm very very pleased with the products from il maquillage i look forward to trying their product soon Thank you again, John, for the voucher. Without you, this video would not be possible, so I love you, girl. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this little review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I try to make it a little bit fun, adding a little bit of vlog footage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are at 158 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you so much, everyone who subscribed. Don't forget to comment down below which product out of the three was your favorite. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.